In this lesson, we're going to go over methods of proving that two triangles are congruent. So, first of all, what does congruent mean? Congruent means that all three angles of one triangle is the same as all three angles of the other triangle. So, for example, this angle is congruent to this one. This angle is congruent to this angle and this angle is congruent to this angle. But not only do they have the same angles, that would only make them similar. They also have the same exact size, so all the sides are the same. So this side is congruent to this side. Uh, this side is congruent to this side. And this side is congruent to this side. So all the angles and all the sides are congruent. However, to prove that these two triangles are congruent, we don't have to prove that all of these are congruent to each other. There are a few things that we have to prove congruent, and if that's true, then we know for a fact that everything else is congruent as well. So let's go over that list of things. The first method of proving that the two triangles are congruent is side, side, side. We'll just say S, S, S. So what I have to do is prove that this side is congruent to this side. Um, this side is congruent to this side. And this side is congruent to this side. If we can prove that, then we can prove that the two triangles are congruent. The next method is to use side, angle, side. Okay, what's very important is that this angle here is written between the two sides. It's because in our diagram, the angle is going to be in between the two sides as, as well. So we have, for example, uh, this side is congruent to this side and this side is congruent to this side and also look at the angle between these sides that would be this angle and the angle between these sides as well so we have side angle side side angle side The next method is similar to side angle side. It's angle side angle. And just like this angle in side angle side it had to be between the two sides, this side has to be between the two angles. So let's say we knew that we we're able to prove that this angle is congruent to this angle and that this angle is congruent to this angle. The side we would need has to be between these two. So it would be this side and this side. Because we have the two angles. This is the side between them. And here we have the two angles and this is the side between them. So if we could prove angle side angle or that this pair of angles and uh, this pair of sides and this pair of angles are congruent, then we can prove that we know, have enough information to know that these two triangles are entirely congruent to each other. The next method is angle, angle, side. So for example, let's say we could prove that this angle is congruent to this angle and this angle is congruent to this angle. So it's angle angle side meaning the side is not between the two angles so we're not going to use this side. Because angle angle and then we could do side. Angle angle side. So we could use these two sides along with these two angles to prove these two triangles are congruent. 
Also, we could do angle, angle, side. Use this bigger side. This also is not between the two angles. So again, we have angle, angle, side. You cannot use A, S, S, angle, side, side, or side, side, angle. If you use this method, you're going to be a donkey. Okay, you cannot use angle side side or side side angle to prove two triangles are congruent. It doesn't work. So we're going to put a big red X over this. Do not use that. It is not correct. There is, however, another method, and it's called hypotenuse leg. Okay, it's called hypotenuse Okay, it's called hypotenuse leg for a specific reason. It's only used in right triangles. And that should make sense because you only have a hypotenuse in right triangles. So if we knew that these were right triangles, if we knew that these were right angles, we could use hypotenuse leg. So we have to prove that the hypotenuse of one triangle is congruent to the hypotenuse in the other, and then either of the legs. So we could have these pair of legs congruent to each other, and we could use hypotenuse leg. So just to review, two triangles are congruent if everything about them is the same in both triangles. But to prove that everything is the same, or to prove that they're both congruent, we don't have to individually prove each exact side or each uh, angle. We only have to prove side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, or hypotenuse leg. If we could use any of these methods to prove it, or if we could prove any of these, then we know that these two triangles are congruent.